Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a quick and easy fun tutorial on our journaling using the new Ising Dye Sprays by Seth Apter by Aladdin. And I also have a little bit of the Ising Diamond paint right here, the glitter paint. I did another video recently with the Ising Ice, which is also by them as well. But I thought I could use everything together, but I ended up deciding that I'll do a separate video just for the dye sprays. So I figured that I would work in another one of my Joggles Art Journals. This is a heart-shaped one that I really love. And what I like about it is besides having a heart shape, is that you can remove the pages and obviously work on a flat surface so I could spray this easily. I'm going to put some paper towel underneath just because it's much easier to clean it up that way. Now these are like really cool colors. They're more like vintage colors. These two, uh, these are samples that I got at Creativation. So I only have basically two regular dye sprays and one metallic, which is the gold. So I just want to show you kind of how they interact with each other and how beautiful they look. Now I haven't prepped this page or anything. I'm just going to basically spray the background and just let it kind of sit there. You can also go ahead and take a paintbrush and paint with it as well so it gives it a beautiful effect as well so they're very beautiful paint uh, sprays and what i love about sprays in general not only these ones is that you can cover a surface so quickly and it just looks so nice now these are dye sprays there's different many different types of sprays in general in, in the world there's dye sprays, there is pigment sprays, and there's of course, like the new ones from Dina Wakely, they're acrylic sprays. But this specifically is a dye spray, and I really want to saturate it as much as possible because I want to create a dark color of it. Now, the other option is for you to add a couple of layers. So you don't have to spray as much. You can dry it up and then another layer. So I'm going to dry this layer up and see how much it absorbed. And then if I need to, I can always add a second layer. So I actually think it gave it a really good coverage. And I love the dripping effect that it created. And you see what I mean by I can actually bend these pages back to make sure that I can flatten them. So if you do want a darker layer, then go ahead and add more spray. But I actually like the way it is. I mean, if I could, I would add maybe a little bit more here at the edge. But I think I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to take a stencil that, from Joggles. And this one, I'm going to use the glitter paint from Ising. Now, I'm not going to be adding this everywhere. I'm only going to be adding it in certain areas. And this will probably create a really cool pattern in the background i've used this paste before and it gives a really cool glittery effect and i thought this would be perfect it would make it like really shine and look beautiful and you can hear the glitter basically in the in the background I will definitely put the name of all the products that I use in the description area of this video in case you want to purchase this, this uh, stencil or any of the products that I'm using. As I said, I always like getting samples because then I can really show people how to use the products. So let me, let me lift this up and look how cool is that. Wow. Okay. So now I'm going to do the other side and as you can see I can move this and take it away from this side so my stencil doesn't interfere. Okay, now I'm going to do this other side. This side has a little bit more of the brown color. So this is it's called tea brown. I forgot to mention tea brown and the other one, the blue one is turquoise and then you have the gold color. So it's a really great glittery paste to use and basically create a beautiful pattern onto your background. Okay, let me lift it up. And again, I didn't add it everywhere. 
just in certain areas to make it look very cool there we go oh i love that it's so beautiful now what i'm going to do is i'm going to dry this part and then i'm going to add a little bit of the gold what i love about this i zinc glitter paste is that it dries super super quick like literally i only dried it for less than a minute and it was already fully dried i see as you can touch i can touch here this page has literally been only 15 minutes not even and i am basically almost done now uh, this gold really covers everything up so i want to make sure that i don't add too much or that i'm just careful of where i'm adding it so i want to kind of create a little bit of light but I could also go with my paintbrush and just kind of spread it a little bit. So you could use this as paint. So I could kind of stick my paintbrush into it. And that way you can use it as paint as well. So this is what I meant. I didn't even have to add another layer there because I could add my, use my gold to create that. Now I feel like I lost, for example, this color. So I can go back with this color and just add a little bit more. And again, go with my paintbrush and just add it here. So it looks really nice. And what I'm thinking is I want a little bit more of this color in certain areas. There we go. And let's mix it a little bit with the gold and there we go so what we're doing is like we can mix the two colors together and blend them into the background yes i like that okay so there is one side and then i'm going to add the gold on the other side again i'm going to blend And it just looks so pretty. I usually like matching the two sides because otherwise it looks weird. So let's do that. So that looks really, really nice. Let me dry this up and I'll show you the next step. So I just want to add a little bit of like a script stamping to the background. So I'm just taking some archival ink and a script stamp and basically just going to add this to the background just a little bit it kind of adds like that vintage look to things i'm just adding a little bit of it in the background and then i'm going to take a little bit of black distress ink i guess i could do it also with this but i just want to kind of add a little bit of a border to this just easier any type of black ink or maybe a black crayon or gelato or something would work so i was trying to figure out what to kind of add in the middle and i wanted to add something that would look really interesting and i realized that i made this butterfly this is a plastic butterfly and it was made with alcohol inks i recently did a video on alcohol ink substrates and i was demonstrating how to do it on plastic and i thought you know what this would look really cool right here in the middle to just have it there but how am i going to attach it that was my main thing that i didn't know how i would attach this to it so i was trying to figure out and i think i'm going to cut it so that way it fits in between so i'm going to show you what i mean okay there we go so if i cut this all i need to do is basically just glue the middle i don't have to glue everything just basically the middle so to make sure that i'm not blocking the area where i'm supposed to put it back into the book so i'm going to use some soft gel and just kind of add it to the background so you see it's like plastic in the back i just thought it would look really nice so I'm not adding it to this little bit or this little bit, only to the wings. And I could leave it like flopping around, but I don't want to do that because the plastic doesn't look as nice in the back. But I could let it like kind of be loose and that would look okay as well. Okay, let me just put this here. So I'm going to line it up in a way that it doesn't block anything. 
there we go so this is what's nice because I can combine two different things I can combine the sprays and I'm also using the ones where another type of artwork and design that I did with alcohol inks now I'm going to line up the other side that way nothing gets blocked anything that you see that it looks white will dry clear because this gel obviously dries clear as, as I've said before so it's not a problem I just want to just kind of hold it there until it dries so I'm going to pop it back into the journal and then see if I want to add a sentiment or something like that but I want to see make sure that it works on inside the journal so I see here that it's getting stuck so maybe I will have to cut off this little part so again trial and error to just see if this will fit and I might have to cut a little piece of it off and that's okay but that makes it easier to fit inside so I have to take this back and actually cut this more so this is sometimes happens where you're not sure things are going to work the way they're supposed to it still looks really nice I still like it does that look odd I wonder if it looks odd I wonder if I could just maybe you know what let me fix it okay so there we go so what I did right now is actually fixed it so it fits perfectly in there let me do this as well to this side so I guess this is a disadvantage for these type of journals everything else is an advantage except for this because you don't have a bound journal so you cannot connect the two pieces together there we go oh that looks good okay so in this case this is how it's connecting which is really really cute and then I just need a sentiment to add to this so I'm going to use a little sentiment from the Tim Holtz small talk it's called it says use your wings and I'm going to cut it in half so I can put it on either side of the butterfly even if it's not even use your wings yeah I like that I'm just going to grab a gold marker and just basically highlight around it maybe even add a little bit to it okay there we go now it matches everything else so basically this is it a simple simple layout with a really cool art journal page I wanted to show you how the sprays kind of look on the background so that was my main main goal so I really hope you enjoyed this I really wanted to create it as simple as possible and use embellishments that I've created in the past so that's what the butterfly is all about so I really hope you like this and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media if you would decide to buy any of these products they're linked below in the description area I just really wanted to show you how they work and other than that I really hope you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and other than that visit me you can visit me on Instagram you can visit me on Facebook I have my new Facebook group and I would love to see you there so if you share anything or if you create anything inspired by this video on any of my videos or projects, then you can share it as well over there. It's Karen Tamir and Friends Creative Space. Thank you so much, everyone. Have an amazing day. Bye.